First of all, I'm going to show you five books that I kind of um, leaf through now and again to get a bit of advice or inspiration. There's there's three of these 10 minute gardener gardeners books with flower, a um, fruit and a vegetable. Um, they're really, really small and easy to read. And Alan Titchmarsh is always good for a tip. Alan Titchmarsh. Um, a great inspirational book with flower photography, if you can get hold of it now because it's it's way out of print, is Irving Penn's Flowers. I take lots of pictures of my flowers, so I'm very inspired by, by Penn's photography. And there's a book called Best Borders. I don't know where I found that, but it has the most beautiful herbaceous borders in full color photos plus plans, planting plans. And the this is a beautiful book from the RHS which I have and I refer to, but I must admit, I mostly get all my stuff from the internet. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a few design details, starting with, it's more to do with the design of the house than the, um, than the garden, and it's the big windows where I can sit and feel like I am actually in my garden. Now, Joe Thompson designed the garden for me, and, because I knew nothing. This was a, this garden was a, um, just a, a green football pitch with, with very skinny borders with some sort of, I used to call them granny shrubs in them. But Joe has helped me transform it into this delicious space that it is now. Now my favorite detail is, you can't really see it from this height. Let me get on a chair. So you can see it kind of, curves around and there's there's two or three areas three areas actually the first one is lawn which i'm actually thinking about uh, reducing so that i can have more plants um now there are there's a big path up here with a few arches well two arches on the other side and a big arch on this side This camellia was here when I moved in and actually loves it there. It's doing really well. So the, the first bit of the lawn turns into a, when you walk through here, it turns into a large oval bed with skinny little green paths around it. I mean, this is really just so that I can get as much planting as possible. And then when you come to the end of the path, there are the veg beds, which are used to, for the moment, have tulips in, which will be cut. I have a few bit of salad in there, some kale left over from last year, which I'm still eating. It's a, I mean, it's quite soup. Um, these are about to be dug and planted. I still have some tulips coming up. Um, my little shed, which is a very small shed and a very small, I think it's a sort of nine by nine greenhouse, which is really handy for when I want to do seeds. Filthy windows need to be washed. Um, hello. Um, this little beauty is a brick, herringbone brick path, and I love it all covered in moss. some of my favorite daffodils. I think they're called British Gamble, which is a weird name for a daffodil, but hey, I didn't name them. And these are the first tulips to come up. I think they're called Red Emperor or something. I'm not very good with names. I'd probably just make it up. But I like lots and lots of color. And there are 3,000, I think I've got 3,200 tulip bulbs this season so they're, they're all in big clumps and when the tulips come out hundreds of dahlias go in this little pl plum tree didn't have any plums on it till last year and there were so many last year and i think this year hopefully there are going to be even more 
There are climbing roses all over the fence and the trellis. Uh, there's no color scheme in here. It's kind of <laughs> just plant whatever, whatever I like and see what comes up. But what I love at this time of year is the quince blossom. I have many different colors. Oh, more tulips today. There's a peachy one there. I just think the quince blossom comes when it, when there's, it's the only thing to blossom. Very welcome. And I have two lovely magnolias which seem to do really well here. This is a, my favorite is the Leonard Messel. And I think she's called Susan. As I say, I'm not quite sure. I just make it up as I go along. Um, I put lots of, after Jo had done her work, um, I have messed up.